Well, welcome to today's Saturday uh, Psalm for the Day, a special Psalm for Easter. Over these Saturdays on the run up to Easter, we're um, thinking about some of the Psalms that are quoted at or about that first Easter. And today we're going to consider some words that are quoted by Jesus on the cross and the context of that Psalm. So let's look at that now. We're going to turn to Psalm 22 and I'm going to read the first eight verses. Psalm 22, sort of director of music, to the tune of the doe of the morning, a psalm of David. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me, so far from my cries of anguish? My God, I cry out by day, but you do not answer. By night, but I find no rest. Yet you are enthroned as a holy one. You are the one Israel praises. In you our ancestors put their trust. They trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried out and were saved. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not a man, scorned by everyone, despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They heard insults shaking their heads. He trusts in the Lord, they say. Let the Lord rescue him. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. David speaks in this psalm of this feeling of being completely forsaken by God. Though he recognises God as the one that um, Israel praises, the the great one who has saved Israel in the past. In his situation, he feels forsaken. And he hears the people mocking him and mocking his trust in the Lord. And of course, this is fulfilled by Jesus at the cross. As Jesus is hanging on the cross, people mock him. They say, well, you know, if he he trusts in God, let God save him. And he quotes those words at the beginning of this psalm. As that Jesus is uh, forsaken by the Father. This is Mark chapter 15, verses um, 33 and 34. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sangbaphthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus, of course, was the perfect and sinless one. He was the one who's been in perfect communion with his father through all his life. And indeed, through all eternity is the Son. Yet at this moment, he is forsaken and condemned as he carries on the cross our sin. As he hangs on the cross, he carries our sin and God's righteous judgment and righteous anger at that sin. He suffers the punishment that we should suffer there on the cross. And he feels and indeed is forsaken uh, by God the Father in a way that he'd never known before. What an amazing thing that Jesus did for us, to save us, to rescue us, so that we could be forgiven. Let's uh, pray, shall we? Father God, we thank you so much that Jesus was willing to go to the cross, to suffer not just that physical pain, but also to suffer that separation from God the Father, to feel his uh, righteous anger and judgment upon him because of our sin. Lord, we thank you he died in our place. He suffered so that we can be forgiven. Father, we thank you so much for that and want to praise Jesus today. Amen.